Hello. Better, better, better stop Hi, everyone. talking. Oh, okay, so a little bit different today. No face cam. I'm sorry. I know you want to see our beautiful, beautiful faces, and we've got a guest from Sydney, which we would love to see your beautiful face. Hey. Unfortunately, we don't have face cam. We also don't have a card cam or life on the stream. Uh, so I do apologize about that. We will talk through cards that we play and life, and we'll go around the table and talk about who we are. Let's start with our guest. Who are you? What are you playing? What did your deck do? Uh, my name's Light Rod. I'm from Sydney. I'm a good friend of Cheshire and Darren. Um, my deck is Niv Mizzet Reborn. I like he introduces himself as Light Rod because you Darren instead of Dakota. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dakota, whatever. Just, just like, saying. We're, we're good friends. That's right. Uh, That's and right. my deck is plus one, plus one counters. Niv Mizzet plus one, plus one counters. Yeah, it sounds a little bit ridiculous at first, but when you actually think about it, um, oh, and the other restriction I put on myself, only cards from Ravnica. Ooh. Okay. So that's there are, spice. Yeah, it's really I like spicy. It. So I, I personally did not do that with my deck. We'll get there at the end. <laughs> yeah, we'll get around to it. Uh, this was more a personal challenge for myself because like, I could easily build something ridiculously broken with five colours, oh, put in all bad. the dual lands and all that sort of stuff. But I wanted to go for something a little bit more fun, a little bit more laid back. And is there a list on Tapped Out for this deck yet? Uh, there will be this afternoon. Okay, good. Because I, was, I need a link. Yeah, because I was <laughs> building this about five minutes ago. Oh, well, look. Yeah, I, mean, um, you know. I was buying singles about 20 seconds before we went live. You've only known about the stream for like a month, so it's fine. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, look, at least you came all the way from Sydney, so I can't really get on your ass about it. So that's Exactly. <laughs> Hold up. Hi, uh, I'm Coda. I'm not Coda. doing the joke you were you planned to do that I thought was hilarious about Fibbleput being lost. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know where he went. Sorry. Um, oh man. Yeah, I, I, I thought about doing the joke, and then I figured, oh no. no. I thought it would have been funny. Well, we well, could well. use some com comedy when we don't have my face. There's less comedy. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> that sounds mean. <laughs> But I can be mean to myself. What are you talking about? That's true. Self-degrading humour is some of the best, finest humour in the world. I mean, it's not it's wrong. Other than dick true. jokes. <laughs> I hear ah, many, ah, many, ah. many of those. Everyone rolls their eyes daily at daily basis. <laughs> so what does your deck do? Um, I don't know. I can't find it. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> no, um, it is, it is Fibblethip. Um, I, I saw Fibblethip and I, Im I immediately fell in love with the fact that Fibblethip was a card. So I'm going to plan on losing Fibblethip. I'm going to find him again. And then my reward for finding him is winning the Cards. <laughs> it's card advantage. That's, that's the reward, right? No, I'm, I'll, I'm surprised that you're playing. By, by, by finding Fibblethip, I lose my deck. And then I win. But you actually have Fibblethip as your commander. Correct. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, Lazary? Uh, I am playing Suck and Friends. Suck and Friends. Tell us about Suck and his dragon re brethren re um, peoples. Does he suck on these dragon nuts? <laughs> <laughs> it is a uh -huh. heal. Dang, done it. Spider? Oh, okay. It is mono red, <laughs> it is dragons, it is planeswalkers, it does lots of both. Okay, that's fair. That's it? Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, you will see very quickly, it is dragons and planeswalkers. Sure. Well, Excellent. I'm playing Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge, which is, of course, four of the Sparks' new Biobox promo. Um, because here we've, as, as you may have guessed, uh, we're changing the rules on how we casually play our com casual commander games to include planeswalkers as commanders and also to allow wish tutors because... They're things that are in the game, and they're built a certain way, and... You'll be able to use them, exactly. If, if I'm represented in the game of Magic the Gathering as a powerful Planeswalker, why can I not then play a powerful Planeswalker that I want to play that is my commander? I'm just saying. Anyway. I don't think there's <laughs> any seriously screwed up um, There is. No, there is. Absolutely there is. I, oh, oh, there, there I already are. know there, three there that are, I can break sure. really easily, but... But yeah, like but there's, there are creatures, creatures that have exactly. exactly. broken. Like, exactly. And that was going to be my evolved, so. yeah. Yeah. And Yidris and stuff. Uh, to start off the stream, we're going to crack each a Japanese booster of War of the Spark and uh, see if we can't pull one of those 50% sexy planeswalkers. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. See if we can right. get anything fancy. Oh, I forgot the Japanese boosters yeah. are backwards. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, let's... So... You want to hold them face down like this, I think. Yeah, we, we hold them face down. I mean, if we were doing a regular... Yeah. So... Hard to open. They are a That's bit. actually a really nice palm bright druid. So, let's let's go through our commons. Start, start the flipping. Hey, look, it's all in Japanese. <laughs> we'll I go, think we'll it's go only through nine. Our... Nine? Yeah. Uh, that's nine. Ooh. 
I yep. got the alternate art Kiora. Ooh. Ooh. Kiora. And a planar wide celebration. Nice. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, I've got a land. We're looking. There we go. There's Yang Yang Goo. Oh. <laughs> well, it's non foil, but it's a Liliana. That, that's, that's the promo amazing. Liliana. Is that foil? Um, no, it's not. No, no non foil, but still. Oh, wait, so that's my uncommon planeswalker, so this should be my rare. I it still have two. You've got a foil. Oh, I've got a foil. Come on, foil, Come on, foil. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's not the one art. I was looking for, but it's still a foil jang. The, the fact that it's the same planeswalker. <laughs> I feel like that adds to it. Oh, wow. And meanwhile, I just pulled basic Wanderer. Well, Ooh, Wanderer's pretty cool. There you yeah. go. Uh, it's not foil, but it's a Liliana. So. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I needed it for the planeswalker collection, so oh my. Yeah. that's fine. Uh, where's my planeswalker box? I don't know anymore. <laughs> so it's Somewhere over there. So I'll, I'll hand that and that to you. That's right, you can take that no, one. No, no, you can have them both. All right, fine. The fact that they're from the same pack adds to it. You're like not the wrong. story. All right. Um, so we'll roll it. I just see who goes first. I'll just roll the six-sided. Yeah, let's do that. Um, right. I rolled a one, so it's not going to be me. One is the loneliest number. Thanks, Five. Pez. It's a five. Got a one. one. Solidarity. And six. Well, I guess who that is then, Lightrod. Well, I've, I've gone from uh, going first to going last. I so see how this works. Unfortunately, have yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, let's, let's play a fun game of cardboard. Ooh. That was actually a really nice top deck. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's start off. Since we're on Ravnica, Steam Vents tapped. Yes. And I'll say go. Sorry. Bump I will start with an interplanar, di interplanar beacon. Um, it is a land that gains lightning whenever I play Planeswalkers. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. That works. Uh, Sunken Temple tapped, go. I mean, Sunken Hollow. Sunken Hollow. Yeah, Sunken Hollow. The blue-black land. Yeah. Yeah, I just, my brain is going back to, like, temples for some reason. <laughs> Sorry. No one cares about yep. mine anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to start off with a Serum Visions. Ooh. Okay. Serum Visions. Uh, Promo Serum Visions. Uh, I draw a card, and then I scry two cards. Very nice. I will leave it like that. Top, top. Top, top. Uh, just to let you know as well, we there are people in the chat looking at your chattiness. So... <laughs> Both Lathery nice. and myself are actually in chat, so... Right. No, it's not a... Uh, I, I don't think I've ever had a problem in chat That's when we've done Commando, but I just wanted people to let, let them know, because last time I think we did this, we didn't have access to our chats while we were doing it. Okay, right. So people were like, why aren't you talking to us? But there's only like one person who had the chat open because we're doing that mass draft. Oh, yeah. Right, yes. Alrighty. It is your turn, Lightroom. I swear I'm not a base red deck. <laughs> Um, I will drop down a Simic Signet. Say go. I will play a Mountain, and then drop my first Dragon. Ooh, um, Dragon Hatchling. You're not going to force a wheel it, are you? I don't have force of wheel. <laughs> Good. <laughs> go. I have foil in this deck. Ooh. Would you really um, foil a Dragon Hatchling? No. <laughs> I wasn't looking at it like that. Why do you guys think I'm going to counter it? Just because I'm mono blue doesn't mean I'm playing oops or counters. Uh, I'm going to play Tears for Fears, River of Tears. I love it. Um, I do have to explain what this card does because not a lot of people actually know. So this is tapped to add a blue to your mana pool. If you played a land this turn, instead you add a black to your mana pool. Oh, it's um, that one. So yeah. it's, it's Tears for Fears. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. Cool. I will untap and I will draw. I'm going to play an Isolated Watchtower. Ooh. So Isolated Watchtower is a land that uh, either taps for a colorless or I can pay two and scry. And then I may reveal the top card. If it's a basic land, I can put it on the battlefield tapped. That's pretty basic. Ooh. So it's, yeah, well, it's ramp. <laughs> yeah. It's basically the new version of scrying what sheets. What is this from anyway? I think that's from one of the new oh, commander that's from sets. from one of the commander ones. Yes. I need yeah. to get myself one of those. Yes, it's really good. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of really good cards printed in commander sets. Yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, right? Yeah. I get none of them. <laughs> then I'm going to play Predict. Set, so. <laughs> so I'm going to predict the top card of my deck. Okay. Okay. The top card is going to be a basic island. Hmm. So I put it into my graveyard, 
And if it was the chosen name, I draw two cards. Sweet. Okay. Otherwise, I draw a card. Draw two. But I got it. Wow, it's almost like you scribed something to the top and had an idea of what it was. It's almost like I knew what it was, right? So Here I thought you were just you know, guessing the most common good. card in the Excellent. deck. So then I'm going to... I have eight cards in hand. Sorry, so Crusher, I'm just I didn't actually get your first, first chat message. That's a foil as well. Very nice. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know what you're referencing. Uh, it is your turn. All right. Reference to something that I can't do. I don't know what he's referencing. <laughs> what do we want to play here? I feel like what it's going to be is... I want to make sure I sequence this properly. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to activate Simic Signet. So I have Simic a, in your mana pool. I have Simic in my mana pool. I'm going to pay that and use the blue to play Azoria Signet. And using the remaining green left over, Pelt Collector. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. There's some pretty nice stuff in here. Um, and I'm going to pass the turn. And just, just in case anyone doesn't know what uh, Desert Master the Bridge does, I'll just read it quickly. Uh, Six mana, uh, so blue, black, four, legendary planeswalker, creature and planeswalker spells that I cast have affinity for artifacts, which doesn't really matter too much to this deck. Um, but the plus two is Tesseract Master Bridge deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts I control and I gain X life, so it really saves you. You can return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand, which is good, and for minus eight alt, you can exile the top ten cards of your library, put all artifact cards from among them onto the battlefield. Kind of good. So who should I attack? <laughs> with the zero one? I mean, one? everyone's got something that's... Yeah, with the zero one. It's only a zero one at the moment. Oh, right. It has fire breathing. Yeah. It's a dragon. It breathes them fires good. It does. Let's attack Rod. Alrighty. Um, I will declare no blockers. Take and I will two. take two. Go. Way to charge right into that pelt collector. Mm. Uh, I will play. Oh, a it's got flying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Strip mine. What Three. is this? Mandosphere. So strip mine, of course, tap sacrifice to destroy non-basic. Uh, and commander sphere, of course, is tap to add one mana color, one mana of any color of your commander's color identity, and you can sack it to draw a card. So it really helps in the doomsday when you go off for doomsday if you want. Uh, pass turn. <laughs> At some point. some point. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to play a Blast Zone. Ooh. So, that makes me sad. So, and Blast... you have a strip mine target. <laughs> <laughs> blast Zone, thank you very much. Uh, for those that know Ratchet Bomb, it is essentially Ratchet Bomb on a land. Uh, I, can... I like to call it a cross between Ratchet Bomb and Pernicious Deed, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I can tap it for a colorless. I can pay two to put um, a charge counter on it. I would rather double X to put X charge counters on it. Or I can pay three and destroy things equal to the amount of counters on it. So as of right now, it has one. For for example, if I decided to blow it up, it would kill the Pell Collector. I did forget about that. Yeah. If it had six and Tezzeret was on the field, Tezzeret would die. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not Maybe implying... Maybe I'll just never play my Tezzeret. I'm not, I'm not implying anything about that, by the way. Maybe I'll just never play my Tezzeret. That's fine. I'm going to play Fibblethip. Okay. I feel like Fibblethip is uh, a cool guy. So when he enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Um, if he enters from my library, I would draw two cards instead. Uh, and if my opponent's target... Uh, sorry, if anyone targets him with a spell, he gets shuffled into my deck. Which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so I now have way too many cards in my hand. And I'm going to go discard. Welcome to the stream, Meme Hat. I'll discard a... Basic Island. Okay. Your islands are so basic. They are. At least they're full art. But, but not foil. No, they're not. I mean, we were told not I to bring foil. I tried, well, yeah, that's I tried not to bring a foil. I do have two foils in here, I believe, both of which I had no choice on, and you'll yeah. see when they come out. I have a couple of foils in here. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, just, I'm the same. Hundred yeah. Pyro Genius doesn't come in non-foil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I've got some stuff in here that does come in non-foil, but I'm not paying $40, so. Yeah. <laughs> One of them is a dual deck card. Uh, it's just like, I'm not, I'm not paying for a non-foil tether. That's just, doesn't make sense. Little, little silly. 
Um, and if you can figure out what my deck building restrictions were, you pretty much have a solid idea of what card I'm talking about. Because <laughs> there's only one card that cares about plus one plus one counters in all of Ravnica that only comes in foil. No idea. Or the High Tower. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Didn't even think about it. Um, what do I want to do here? That's because no one thinks about that card in general. Because yeah, but it scares me whenever I do. Yeah, because it's not a bad card, but it's not a good card. Yeah. It's a really good card in Commander. Yeah, in Commander, but not in Standard Constructor. Yeah. Um, speaking of cards that are really good in Commander, I think I want a Simic Ascendancy. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh. You have a counter spell? <laughs> I, I, I may have... I may have a foil. <laughs> <laughs> but is it a foil foil? May discard an island and any other card. You know what? I feel like trading a Simic Ascendancy for three cards is pretty good. Yes. It's worth it. But yeah. to survive. It's, uh, it's I, mean, I haven't even dropped my doubling season yet. <laughs> yeah. It's all I had. I'm sorry. That's all good. Um, I'll drop down Krenko. Pin Street Kingpin. Uh, he comes... He's a 1-2... Uh, which means that Pell Collector gets a counter. Mm. Right? Yep. No, e equal. Um, it has to be more, doesn't it? Oh, it's great power. I thought yep. it was power and toughness. No, My bad. Oh. Alrighty. Racer. Um, in that case, I think I'm just going to pass the turn. I'm going to play a Scavenger Grounds because, you know, graveyard hate is always useful. Yeah. And then I'm going to play Outpost Siege. Okay. I th think I'm going to choose Khans. Oh. Ooh. Uh, um, Khans is at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. Until the end of your turn, you may play that card. So it's a red. Turn for that. I think it's Impulse. It's Impulsive Draw. Yeah. Impulsive Draw, yeah. Not bad at all. For reference, if I'd chosen dragons, it would be whenever I, whenever a creature I control leaves the battlefield, it deals one damage to target creature or player. That's fair. Yeah, but the, the, the theme. Yeah, but Sarkin. <laughs> Sarkin is on the Khan's side of things. Fair enough. I mean, fair he's on both, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what, are you, what else are you doing? I am not attacking with my zero one. You may go. Wait, at the end of your turn, I'm going to Mystical Tutor? Ooh. Oh, no. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, mate. I feel oh. like I should worry about it. No, no, really. Um, I'm almost, I tell you, I'm almost tempted to go and get a swan song. But uh, I'll get aware of invention instead. Aware of invention is three blue and X, uh, and can improvise, and it will search for an artifact and put it into play with a converted mana cost of X, which at the moment, I am nowhere near casting to get anything really super gross into play. Yep. Go to the top of my deck, I'll untap for my turn, and then I will draw it. Hey, look at that. That's what you're doing work. Uh, let's play a uh, Darksteel Citadel, which is just a colorless land that has indestructible. Uh, and then we'll go blue into tap it. Keep strip mine up just in case. And we'll enchant it with a mechanized production. So mechanized production is enchant artifact I control at the beginning of my upkeep. I get to create a token that's a copy of that enchanted artifact. Of course, artifact is land. Uh, then if I control eight or more artifacts with the same name as one another, I win the game. Right. It's just a good way to get extra land, basically. Uh, I mean, I don't think I get there. Plus turn. I mean, it is on an indestructible permanent. It is, but the enchantment's not indestructible. And usually people the enchantment as soon as they can, or true. bounce it and counter it or whatever. For me, it's just a way of getting more land. Yeah. Because this is very land light there. And more artifacts. Yeah, well, yeah. exactly. Well, there's nothing like having additional indestructible Oops. land artifacts. Yeah. Kind of go, if you have Master LD, like, good job. I still have land. So, I'm going to pay three. I'm going to play Jace Bellerin. Ooh, Party Jace. Ooh. Party Jace sure. likes the party. Where are your fancy uh, The fancy dice are over there. So, I'm going to tick Jace up. So, everyone gets to draw a card. Let's have hey. some fun. Let's have a party. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted to say. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's your turn. Bye, Rob. Alrighty. Let's draw the card for the turn. Hmm. Oh, I should mention, of course, uh, our hosts here today, as you might have guessed, uh, General Games here in... in still Mal yeah, it's still Malvin. Still Malvin. Right, okay, great. I was just like, I know that they moved from their last location, and the last location was actually on a border with Frankston, I think. Wouldn't be Frankston. Well, Frankston, uh, Fra Fra Frankston what is... What am I thinking? It, there's another suburb that's, like, real close to here. Frankston is, like, half Caulfield. an hour away. Is it Caulfield? Possibly Caulfield. Yeah. 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 Um, I'll drop down to Selesnia Signet. Um, and let's drop down Jiang Yangu. Hey. And I might just put my special foily one here as well. <laughs> it's not special foily. I mean, Close special. Enough. You know what I mean? Japanese version? Yeah. Keep the English um, so, I'm gonna just so that we can read Yeah, the well, I'm going to put them next to each other. There we go. <laughs> We get the really nice art, but at the same time, we can still read the card. Um, I'm going to take him down to two and put a counter on Krenko. Okay. Um, and now I think I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to attack him with Krenko, putting a counter on Krenko. Um, and I'm going to attack it Actually, over here. Sure. Then Just you get a bunch of goblins as well. And I get a bunch of goblins, so I get three goblins. Uh -huh. Are they tapped and attacking as well? Or? No, they are just there oh, as okay. blockers. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take your three damage. That's fine. Go down to 37. 37 N. 37. Why would you shorten that? I have no idea. Don't <laughs> look at me. Um, and I'm pretty happy with my defensive state right now, so I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I draw for turn. No, sorry. First, I exile with Outpost Siege. Yep. Ooh, I'm not a fan of that. Then I draw for turn. Ah. Uh, okay. So I'll play a ghost quarter. Then I'm going to ask ask you really nicely, how much do you care about your signets? I mean, without it, I've got three lands. So a lot. So not much. <laughs> <laughs> not like you'll you'll cripple his deck or anything. <laughs> I mean, my aim is to cripple your deck, but I like the fact that as of right now, he actually has access to all of his colors with those signets in play. Yeah. Yeah. Like signets, are good. So the thing is, like, I could play a Khan right now <laughs> and just turn off all the artifacts, including the infinite Darksteel Citadels. But not That's the true, but production. then I would just attack in at the Khan on my next turn. Yes. So it stops him for one turn. And I don't want, I don't want the st board state to be you being annoyed by him. I want you to be happy enough that it's stopping L that I keep him on the battlefield. So I'm not going to play him yet. You know, if you play it, I do... Actually, no, I don't, because everything in my hand is green. <laughs> it's not easy being green. Actually, no, hang on. Hang on, no, go for it, because I've got Jiang Yangu. My creature was a counters on the tap for mana. Okay. Go for it. Remember when I was saying that I should have kept that counter spell? <laughs> I will play Khan. He enters with five loyalty. And I gain a life. Ooh. This was uh, not what I was expecting. I spin down? Yeah, we've got a non spin down. Um, do I want to sacrifice my sphere in response to casting if I can draw a card at least? Three, five. Yeah, I think I do. Pop that to draw a card. Remember that problem I was having with land? I found them all They're on the top of my deck. <laughs> That's nice. I still haven't found mine. And then, I'm just going to swing at Jace for one. Swing at Jace? Yep. He's just going to draw cards. Yeah, and I, I want him to keep drawing cards. That's fine. Cool. I'm not going to kill him, just going to keep him low enough that you want a plus two instead of a minus one. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, the entire idea of him was just to keep everyone happy, but obviously someone doesn't like to be happy. Look, we're a little bit scared of that minus 10. The minus 10 is not scary. The minus okay. 10 is scary for me. <laughs> oh, untap? I solemnly swear he is not in the deck for the minus 10. Somehow I don't believe you. <laughs> Upkeep? I, I feel like this is just secretly a mill deck. No, this is not a mill deck. 
No, you, you're, you're upkeep trigger? Yeah. 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 That, it goes. Yeah, it happens. It happens. I have you a get a lad that I you have can't a colorless. tap. It does nothing. <laughs> Fire of Industry. Um, so this... Tap to add a colors to my mana pool. I can tap and pay one life to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. Activate only if I control an artifact, which I do. So I've got four lands, set of six. I didn't actually activate Calm last turn. I thought I'd hit a plus one. <laughs> yep. Good job. Go you. Great work. You um, did it. What I want to do now, because now I'm just like, kind of, I feel a bit dead in the water, to be honest. Uh, Off of that, any ah, uh, I have to re activate the ability. Okay, right. Um, this has thrown my entire life out of whack. I just want to point out <laughs> I'm trying that to is out why it's in the deck. Out. Yeah, now yeah. I'm like, what, a, what do oh. I do now? Oh, my mox amber's off too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bad face, sure is. Good job. Um, I'm pretty happy with you on a single blue mana right now. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> He's no counter spells. That's not necessarily true. Yeah, I was going to say that's not He's true. He's no at all. cards named counter spell. Uh, I think that either. There's so much stuff that I don't want to do. All right, you know what? We're going to. Already played a land. Can't do it. Pass turn. Cool. Oh man. Gonna try and float the blue or something. No, no. There was something I was going to do, and I could have done it by paying a life. Ah. But is there a point Perhaps. in doing it right now? I may as well just wait. I need to find a Up way to here. get rid of the Go for it. Pick Chase up because life is a party. I'll play a land. Uh, what shall I do here? I don't know. It's mostly Final Fantasy. No. This one isn't. Dragon Ball Z. Oh. <laughs> Cell. Ah. Oh. I've never watched that show. Really? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, Cell's, it's Cell's theme. I'm Cell. Hello, Goku. Is that really what he sounds like in the English sub? Uh, yeah, before yeah, he, before he, turns before he goes into like, oh, hello, Goku. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm slightly beefier with a big jaw now. Before he goes into perfect form. Yep. His, his first form, well, I guess technically his second form, but his first form is like, just like a wizard looking weird insecty dude with a, like a parrot beak yes. looking thing. I've seen it, but I saw it in like Japanese. Oh. Yes, Goku. <laughs> hey, I just realized something. You can tick up Khan, targeting his Darksteel Citadel, and blow it up. Oh! Wait, yeah, really? Yeah, it, it becomes a zero zero creature. Oh! Okay. Why did you do that? <laughs> Why you could, did you you could that? also tick up his Mox Amber and blow that up. Yes, you could. I could. But it's a Mox Amber as opposed to a Darksteel Citadel. It I works. Know. Food for thought. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn. I feel targeted. Highly targeted. I mean, I may, I may have just been reading a card and realised it myself, but you know. You literally have a card that says you in the game. <laughs> he didn't need to announce that to the table, though. No. No, we, 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 I, I didn't need to announce it to the table. <laughs> we already know. Alrighty. How can I that do just this means properly? that you just have a token Dark Steel Citadel in play. It's gonna be really weird to <laughs> have the token there without. Nah, just leave the yeah. just, just leave yeah, the actual the... one there. It'll be oh. fine. Then put the dice in my discover. <laughs> this is really annoying. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Alrighty. Now that you're only on three colors. 
Now I'm going three colors. Okay, I'm going to tick Jiang Yangu down again. Um, I'm going to put a counter on. Oh, Krenko can tap for mana. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, that's why I'm so struggling so much with this. Oh, you have all your colors again. Kind of. Yeah. I've, I've got some of my colors. Make a little goblin burly boy. Um, and I'm going to tap him. The green and my steam vents. Or Biomance is familiar. Help collector triggers. Yes. Put a counter does. on him. So I've still got four mana on me. Um, I'm going to tap. I want to tap. You know what I should have done? Should blown up his. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have. That would have been mean. That would have been rude. You're right. Would have been like, you let it through. I am going to destroy your land. <laughs> but I'm not that kind of person. Um, I think I'm just going to leave a little bit of matter up. And I will attack. One, two, three. Four. I'm sorry. Ticking Krenko up to three. Swinging with Krenko over here. Creating four new goblins. Uh, question. Yes. Is it swinging towards Caitlyn, or is it swinging, swinging towards, Caitlin. towards Khan? I will take four. Going to swing towards you. Down to thirty-seven. And I get four more goblins. So, yep, board wipe, sort of. Looks real good right now. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine it would. Pass the turn. The one that is currently in my exile pile and can't be cast. Yeah, pretty much. Or the one I would have been able to cast had Khan not hit the table. Just yep. say it. You yep. only have yourselves to blame. Wafer is bubble. Hey. I like that card. Doesn't do anything. Opponent stuff is three mana ramp card. Yeah, yeah no. It's oh. only opponent stuff that doesn't trick you, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Because for whatever reason they thought that was fair. Hashtag decision. I don't want that bauble though. So I mean, one. it only costs one. It's only one. Yeah. No, it means that I can't cast my commander this turn. Ah. Uh, so I'll pay four. I will play a Flame Shadow Conjuring. Ooh. And then I will play the bauble. Uh, it's gross. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one red, and if you put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of that creature, that token gains haste. Oh, that's Indian cool. Set. Yeah. Real. And then I will take up Khan and destroy your enchanted Darksteel Citadel. Sure. It goes boom. Pass the you turn. You the token copy. <sighs> Still can't tap for mana. Well, technically, yep. Come on. I'm wondering if the stream can actually hear the background music, or if it's if we can. If we can hear it, they can probably the hear it. Can probably yeah. hear it. Be interesting with copyright laws happen. Um, I'll play a reflecting pool. I mean, it's all remix music, so it should be fine. Yeah, yeah it should be fine. Yeah, exactly. It's also a video game soundtrack that generally doesn't flag on Twitch anyway. Yeah. 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 Cool thing is, but it's good. Yeah, they're in my plans. Point where I'm like struggling to actually cast things. Um. Same. Yes, that. Um, I'm gonna use. Colorless. And I'm going to transmute my muddle the mixed you go. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, sure. Uh, at, at the end of yours, I'm going to scry with the watchtower. And then I may reveal it, which I choose not to. Um, I'm just going to... 
Then you reveal the top card of your library. I, I may reveal. Uh, is it a may? It's a may. May. But you can technically shift it at the bottom and then just take I a random show. I'm, I'm just going to draw it. Okay. And then I'm going to tick Jace down for myself because I'm going to be greedy. Uh, how does that work with Khan? Very good question. Maybe it can't. Uh, I actually think I can't. You can't. It's an improvised card. Uh, Ooh. It will still work. It still works? Because yes. improvise doesn't, isn't an ability on the artifact. It's part of casting a spell. Yep. Right. So you can improvise. Oxhammer gets to do something. Yeah. Probably one of the few times Mox Amber gets to generate colourless. Yeah, actually. You're not even wrong. Um, it does mean I've been a lot of cards, though. Is it worth it? Would have played Current, it anyway. I'm, I'm currently, currently on eight. So if I play this... Discard three... I want to discard this really? I'm not sure what's the worst that can happen. <laughs> so I'm going to cast Reverse Engineer. Ooh. I'm going to draw three cards. Oh. What oh. a card draw happening. No. Oh. No. Oh. Not happy at all. No. You've only oh. drawn five cards this turn. That's, that's not land. All right. I... I go to discard, and I'm sad. Discard. Audio missed. That's. Discard. The fine glass. Discard. And oh, so here's artistry. It's a good card. It is. That used to be an all star in my deck. I had it in this deck originally. I'm just gonna quickly count something in my bin. Oh, there's a lot of cards. Um, do we have a token box by any chance? Nope. <coughs> That's why I asked if we need a token. I asked for it. I got loads of goblins. Uh, Maybe probably goblins. Potentially zombies. What have you got zombies in mono blue? Oh, you got rise from the tides. Oh, I'm terrified. Yep. Me and my big stupid mouth. <laughs> I mean, what other mono blue cards are there that generate zombies? Uh, it's a drill. A couple. Oh. Yeah, actually, it's not wrong. Uh, cards that create blockers to keep my life total alive from scary Krenko hordes. One, two, three, four, five. I keep hitting the. Let's see if this resolves. Doubling season. Hey. I'm looking over at the other blue player over here. No, you're dug your own grave. What do you mean I'm going to dug my own let grave? You all die. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't use my artifacts, my deck doesn't do anything, so yeah, all that. <laughs> I think I'd be nice then. I don't, I don't have any counter spells either, so it's fine. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six. I swung at you last turn. <laughs> Alrighty. Moving to combat. Putting a counter on Krenko. Doubled. Doubled. Five. Eight, five goblins, which six is really goblins. ten. Oh, six goblins. And actually, wow. it's going to be 12 goblins. Oh. That's scary. Oh. Um, I'm also going to swing in six of my goblins at Khan. Oh. I'm going to block one with a dragon hatchling. <laughs> Go for it. Maybe. I... Uh, 
No, no, Khan dies. No. Iconic Australian, welcome to the stream. Yes, this is. Um, Commander. This was meant to be like, you know, a plus one plus one counters deck. Instead, I've kind of just built Goblin Swarm. It's, yeah, pretty, it's Krenko. Congratulations, you've played Krenko. <laughs> <laughs> it's Krenko in a five color deck. You can't blame me for that. I mean, I can. I mean, you're you can, the one that put him in the deck. <laughs> I mean, because he cares about counters. Yeah. Pass the turn. You did this to yourself. Okay. We'll untap. Right, that goes under the outpost stage. I draw this one. Which we have flying can't block. And then I'm going to play Sarkin the Masterless. Alrighty. Of course there's no master. There is no there is no Nicol Bolas. I will take him up. All my planeswalkers become dragons until end of turn. Cool. And then yeah, I one dragon. Past turn. <laughs> yes, the, the summoning six Sarkhan dragon. Alrighty, I've given okay. you your artifacts. Let's see how you can go off. Why would you think I could even anywhere near after I've been stunted for how many turns? Who? Who? Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which means I can't go off yet. Well, I mean, you I get can, one turn to try and go off. I can certainly smell bad. So you can smell bad? Yeah. I can't go off, but I can smell bad? Oh. Oh, God. You are welcome. Um, who wants a turn off from goblins? Everyone? Great. Uh, <laughs> evacuation. Oh. Oh. I could have waited. I really could have waited. But I just... I mean, I'm actually kind of happy, but... Oh, no, no, because now you've just gotten rid of all my mana sources. Uh, he doesn't disappear. He does not. Oh, is it? It's only no. creatures. It's only creatures. creatures. Thank goodness. He's a one. He's on one still. It's an instant. I, and I, 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 I don't really know if that's better or worse. Waited, to be honest, but it's worse. Yeah, because I can't replay Jang. The good thing is, now you have no blockers. Okay, so... Uh, and uh, I think I will uh, tap one and Radix here past turn. Okay. Cool. I will untap. Oh, he's legendary. Mox Amber still taps. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, that's a card. <laughs> uh, I know that art. I should not have looked over. I know that art because I used to play it back in the day. It's actually a really good Fire and Ice deck for that. Yes. Yes, there is. Well, there used to be, actually. Because they changed how split cards work. Yeah. So. so Rain of a Jar? Let's yes. Let's tick up Jace, because life is a party. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm going to use one of them to imply there is a seven. Life is a highway. I mean, we have another dice over there. Okay. Um, because uh, it's meant to be eight, not seven. seven. Yeah, she's he's on seven. seven. Oh, is he on seven? Yes. Yeah. Oh, because we took him down to five last time, yeah. Uh, let's... I should have bought more of those dice. Yes. Let's cry about the lack of... Um, I did warn you I was playing Super A lack France. of land. How can Mono Blue help with lack of land? I'm scared. I'm going to play a Sensei's Divining Top. I'm very scared. Yeah, now we should be worried. I kind of wish I didn't blow up Khan now. <laughs> and then I'm going to play Narset, Potter of Veils. I really wish I didn't. Actually, that's really... So we don't have bit. any more... That's fine. We will use... A7. I just realised I misplayed really badly because I didn't tap any of my signets. No, you couldn't... couldn't. No, after I killed the Khan. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> so... I'm on eight. So, so we can't draw more than one card down per turn, would be right? bad. So yeah, only one okay. one card a turn. So I'm gonna go to discard, and I'm gonna have to discard, unfortunately. The Rise from right? the tides. It's just your opponent's Ooh. Turn. Okay. So uh, no, Mantis Fury comes back as well. Oh, Sorry. Why, is, why is that on two? That so, should be on five. So note to self. I shouldn't cast a windfall. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Because <laughs> the three I mean, of us would be screwed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Don't you could that, cast please. a windfall and it would screw us over. 
Yeah, but, yeah, but that's just handing the game to Coda. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, let's not do that. I have super friends in my hand, just saying. Got some Mega Man playing in the background now. I've only got one Plays Walker in my hand. I can't play her. Hi Chandra, hi, ba hi Jaya. Hi someone. It's, o it's okay. I, I have a a an Enigma, a robot, and a Derg. <laughs> okay, let's drop down to Pelt Collector. Hi Pelt Collector. Uh, I'll actually tap like that to play Pelt Collector using my white for Cynic Signet. I'm going to save some time and do the top. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Biomance is familiar. Uh, okay. Pelt Collector gets two counters on him. Oh, my bad. I'm blind, but I still know a lot of images. So. I'm pretty sure you don't know what any of these were. Uh, well, considering how long have I been playing? Longer than me, and that's saying something. I've oh, been playing possibly. beta, yeah. So <laughs> oh. I think I've been playing a lot longer than a lot of people. Yeah. Hence the, the Fire and Ice comment, because that comes from an Invasion Block era deck. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it was very good. Uh, I'm, was I'm that reprinted those... in Time Spiral? Sorry? Was that reprinted in Time Spiral? I think it was. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm, I'm leaving all three of those exactly how they were. Um, Krenko can come down so again as well. that deck was disgusting at the time. It was. I used to play it. My, um, my, my, my best play ever was putting Counterspell the uh, Ice Cream Scepter. <laughs> uh, pass the turn. I love it. Nothing like a repeatable, untappable, colorless for two counter any spell. Spell. Right. And nowadays so you just got like you know dramatic reversal on Deceptor. Yeah, exactly. Is that play or cast? They play that card. Okay. Very nice. Which dramatic reversal is not in this deck, and neither is Goodness. the Isochron Scepter combo. Because yeah. I just felt like that was. I Way like to get it's around too easy. It, it, yeah, exactly. Like I want to work for my. Work. Exactly. Which is why this isn't as optimal. as I should be able to win on turn four, to be honest. <laughs> and I refuse to play that particular deck. Exactly. And that's the one with, like, Mana Vault and, um, stuff in it. Meanwhile, I'm sure I've got some... Dragon Hatchling? All the small dragons this game. Actually, no, this is the same one. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm thinking Malrathony like a... Dragon? Oh! Uh -oh. What is that? This, okay. okay, there is actually a story behind this because this was given out as a promo to people that went to a convention. It's almost in killed magic. In 1994. Yeah, and it almost killed magic. Really? Yeah. Yep. So it, because the player base got... Well, I'll let you explain yeah, it. It was a card that was... A unique card that was only given out to people who attended Dragon Con in 94. And so you needed to be in this geographic area to get a card that was standard playable. Plus not everyone could get into the convention either. Um, and so they ended up doing a huge apology. And... A uh, reprint of the card in um, the next Duelist magazine, and so it was like you literally just went, "Oh, I would like to s send a stamp self addressed envelope to them and get a copy of the card, or you get it in the ma magazine." They right. flooded the market with them as an apology for not flooding making... the market with them. Yep. <laughs> so yes, right, this so is a four mana one one dragon <laughs> with flying and banding. <laughs> And fire breathing with the rider that if I activate it three times in one turn, I have to sacrifice it. <laughs> We're gets, sorry for printing this. <laughs> if, if, it, if it gets too hot, it blows up, but it's gross anyway, so yay. Yeah. It has been a long time since I've actually played a card with banding. <laughs> I need to get like, because you know, like I'm a judge and I'm thinking to myself, you know, how does banding work again? It's, it, it's you declare how the defending player's uh, damage is dealt. Yeah. Yes, and also attacking player if I'm on the defense. Yeah. Trust the Lazarus, right? Yeah. Continue. Banding birds, do you remember <laughs> that? We still need to build that. Yes. Tick up Sarkin. Yep. And swing at Rod for four in the air. I'll go to 12. Well, 32, but... Yeah, I was going to say, 12, how does that work? And pass the turn. Oh, sweet, I get a turn. Awesome. Uh, untap, nothing during upkeep. Draw. Uh, let's play Polluted Delta. Uh, we'll crack it straight away. Uh, what is Polluted Delta? Oh, hi. What is Polluted Delta going to go and get? 
Um, I think Feathered Pools would be a waste because it could be tapped. I know that I do have Watery Grave in here somewhere. La la la, everyone loves it when I sing to myself, when I'm searching for cards. Where are we? Maybe I don't? Don't I? There it is, Watery Grave. There we go. I will pay the two life. Uh, five, six, eight. Okay. Oh no, that's why we don't win full. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. N okay. Nas, that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to. It's it's it's, it's Leovold the Planeswalker. Pass the turn. Passing the turn. Passing. Uh, I like it when people pass it. So first things first. Bloody Nath Nanny Dragon. It's a great card. I'm going to play Purple Zip, the yeah. Lost. Hey! You found him! I did find him. He was where I thought he was all along. <laughs> Your hand? In my hand. Who would have thought? I was the turkey all along. <laughs> so, question. Can you actually cast him from your library in this deck? Not cast him from the deck. But he can enter from the deck. I feel like there might be a little thing starting with P and ending with Proteus Staff somewhere in that 99. <laughs> so I'm going to take up Jace. Everyone draws a card. Let's have some fun. Hey. Hey. Oh, you done messed up. Ah, uh, damnation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if damnation's better or worse. Uh, I have eight cards in hand again. Why do I always seem to have eight cards in my hand? Let's uh, Let's get together and it'll be all right. <laughs> Actually, before I cast that, I'm going to... Why is that... That's four. I'm going to tick down Narset to look at the top four. I may reveal a non-creature, non-land, and put it in my hand. Oh, Ooh, I wish I had that. Ooh. You get one of them. Let's reveal that card. What is this? Oh, this no. is Manipulate Fate. So Manipulate Fate is a card that says I search my library for three cards and I exile them. Then I shuffle my library and draw a card. Let's cast this, shall we? What, what are you up to? I'm exiling three cards from my deck. If those aren't three islands, I'm going to be very scared. I feel like one of them might be that Eldrazi you can cast from exile. Well, let's see. So there's the Eldrazi you can now cast for, from exile. What is that you can cast from exile? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can cast Sweep from Exile. In mono blue. If, if you're playing Kefnet, wouldn't Kefnet go to top three? Or oh is god, there's Proteus stuff. Is, has he got some way to get stuff out of Exile? There's, there's I know that he plays Complete Jank, so I'm not disregarding that. Well, I know that there's a card that gets stuff from Exile. Oh, Let's not get that. I, know, get I remember that. that there's a card from, I think, on Sports yeah. box that gets something from Exile. Um, there's the Wishes. Yep. So there is a blue wish that also does similar thing. Get something from exile. But the blue wish is instant or sorcery, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna get three artifacts. I'm suddenly terrified. Yeah, I don't know. What's I think on. he may have a card. But you've got to put silver counters on them. No, no, this no, no, card. Other card. Oh, the... oh, I think you might <laughs> be right. Interesting. So I have. Uh, I have to draw my card for turn. Let's do that. Well, you card off of manipulate fate. Correct. Uh, I have a bunch of cards in my hand. Why do I have so many cards in my hand? All right. Because you're playing mono blue. <laughs> <laughs> you're 
You act surprised when you're playing Modern I'll, Warfare. I'll play an expedition map and I'm on nine cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's discard a Tamiyo's Epiphany. Yeah, because you don't need more card draw. Oh, you do. <laughs> and a mission briefing. Alrighty. Are we ready for some spice? Your turn. No. Draw. I swear, if you play a Khan, I'm so upset with you. No, it's spicier than Khan. Oh. If it's Mass LD, I'm kicking you off the table. No, it's not Mass LD. <laughs> I said spice. Yeah, some people... Like, think about it. What is the spiciest card that you can play in five-color good stuff that's only in Ravnica blocks? Some people like putting chili flakes uh, is, is into the spaghetti bolognese, right? Ooh. Is it Niv himself, because you haven't done that yet? I'm going to play oh, red, blue... Uh oh. Green, white, black. And from my hand. What are you doing? Chamber sentry. Oh. He comes in with 10 plus 1 plus 1 counters on him. Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> it is definitely spicy. Thought you were going to do something else. No. No, I'm talking spice. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Yeah. Uh, Pelt Collector also goes up to four. So he's now at five five. Yep. Sure. Take that, Narset. Oh, Yay. okay. Now we can win four. Now you can win four. I don't want you to win four. Um, I'm going to play down my land for turn. Overgrown Tomb tap, uh, untapped. Um, I'm going to. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Why is someone quacking? I, I don't know. Maybe they're it's playing... It's a very um, packed game store. Unstable or something, so who knows? It's a pretty good quack. Um... I'm <laughs> hey, um, how was that done? I'm, I'm trying to decide on which one of these two things I want to do, and I'm just hearing quacking in the background. All of a sudden, Waluigi. Quack! Oh, okay. Uh, they are past Goku. The spice must flow. I'm going to pay three for take. What are you taking? I'm going to remove all plus one, plus one counters from chamber sentry. It dies. I draw ten cards. Ooh. I mean, twelve. Oh, yeah, ten. Ten. Ooh, that was a big take. Yeah. And now you discard to turn. And now I discard to turn. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Can I go? Six, you may as well go for it. Go, yeah. Seven, <laughs> eight. Nine. Ooh. Okay, what do I want to discard here? Um, I want to keep that. Oh, sorry. I think it's easy to just that pick what I want to keep. Well, that one. I will play the Reliquy Tower. What are the chances you win four next turn? We'll see. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I pick then, is it? Was that, did you just say we'll see? Yeah. As in, like, we'll? Yes. We'll oh, see. I hate oh, you. Oh, my God. Three. <laughs> four. Five. Actually, I need to check that card now that I think about it. So as, cool. as, as a question, do you run Force of Will in that deck? No. Oh. no. Why not? I know it's, it's expensive. I'm, like, I'm running a Misty Rainforest in here, that so is I get it. quite literally the reason. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I am discarding, just so we got this I'm, on the I'm board. Just... Stony Strength, Protean Hulk, because yes, that was part of Ravnica Block. <laughs> this uh, this Godless is why. Shrine, M M M Lesnia Gilgate. M you, you, can't, you can't see it I on the screen. Oh, actually, hang on, no, I want to keep that. Sorry? I think some dust just fell out of your wallet. Yeah. In case people weren't realising, I just took my wallet out and shook Checking it upside down. Yeah, but who carries cash? Exactly. Um, I'll get rid of Side of Price Rootkin. I'll keep that in my I hand. I carry cash. I carry like 10 bucks around with me just in case. I always carry emergency money just in case something's yeah. out of my bank and then... Right. 
piss me short because yeah, <laughs> living day by day. For any non-Australians, that's a five cent coin, the worst one that we have. Um, I'm also discarding bread for the hunt and electrodominance. Why are you discarding bread? Uh, because I have better cards in my hand. But I'm a baker. <laughs> I'm going to walk away from this table. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, hey. Lazarus? Trying to decide which of these two cards is worth playing. And Considering the fact that you feel like everyone's just going to wheel for seven. Yeah, if we wheel, then there's one that is more important to play than the other. But also, it's not the one I want to play. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let, let's put it to you this way. Odds if, are if he's going to wheel. If you don't want me to wheel, then don't attack me. <laughs> I will just for a turn. I wasn't going to attack you. Okay. I'd then like it, you to wheel next on your next turn, because I've got two things in my oh, hand my that I desperately that need to play. Fair? Sure. Okay, great. Let's do that. I'm going to play Jaya. Oh, six. Jaya. Everyone but me. And Jaya enters five counters. Why oh, was that rhythmic? Why that rhythmic? Because I, I like being rhythmic. No, we're talking about me sniffling. Oh. <laughs> well, that's your own. I don't know. What. Apparently. You're a rhythmic sniffler. And then. Does it sound wrong? Pick up Sarkin again. They both become creatures. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then. I think I just hit, um, Jace. I can hit Jace for eight. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that'd make him have to optic. Yeah, but I also would like to start hitting his face. That's, so, that's true. No one's hit him yet. Okay. Jace for eight. I've and noticed Coda that for, for the longest. Sorry, what was that? Jace for eight. Coda for two. Jace for eight. Coda for me. Cool. Coda for me. <laughs> for you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that just yeah. happened. Um, I noticed that when there are planeswalkers in play, people's life totals don't change as much. Yeah. This is generally true, yes. And I'm going to crack the wall. We'll go. Sure. End of your turn. Three blue. So three, four, five, six, fires. That's three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's Wear of Invention. Wear of Invention okay. for nine. Go and get Bolus to Citadel. Oh, God. Hey, oh. how oh. you doing? You're all tapped out. That's great. Oh. I like to win game. I think you're regretting making that foil now, aren't you? I'm more <laughs> sad. You, you foiled I'm, away. I'm actually more upset that I, didn't, uh, that I don't have double blue out right now. Look, to because... Be to be that fair, would have been amazing to steal. To be oh, fair, I might not... Oh, you have Spindle or Mana Leak? I don't know, steal. Or St steal the spell. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Yes, th that is a thing that you can do in the card game of Magic the Gathering. Uh, still at the end of your turn, I'm going to look at my top card. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Untap. Draw it again. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, so... The way that I would need to win here is if I was able to do three, four, five, Hazard it, pick down for four, go searching for Aetherflux Reservoir. Oh. But then you need to hit constantly. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. That does mean that he constantly can't hit lands off the top, though. Yeah, he can only... You're right. I would need to go and... Um, oh, God, he's going to do... Get something like that to the top of my deck. I mean, if you get three lands at the top, you're still combos over, though. Exactly. That's that's why this deck is good, but it's not always amazing. There it is. Aetherflux Reservoir, straight into play. Yep. You know what? It's great, because this can create mana and draw a card. Yeah. By pumping a mana through it. Sounds, sounds pretty uh, pretty good. Let's look at the top card. So you guys were upset okay, about Khan before. You guys not upset about Khan now? I mean, Khan wouldn't right. even stop that. Lotus Petal, I'll gain a life. It would stop, it him would from stop the reservoir. The other yeah, stop him from activating reservoir, although he can still just combo off with Bolas. Uh, I will pay two life and I'll get Taxium Probe. Uh, no, and then because that's still life. an activated ability. And draw a card? What? Sorry? Uh, the activated ability play... on Citadel is not relevant. No, you just yeah. pick casts for days. Yeah. One, two, three. Fabricate. 
I think we know who's won this game. This is where having card would be really useful because yeah, it would stop the sensei's fighting top. If you have ways to put counters on my things, I can win the game. Well, I can then stop Sensei's the running top. My hand? Five mana this entire game. Yeah, he only cost four. Yeah, I cast. I, I spent three of it to That's do the exiles. My second oh, spell? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was. Second spell, I think. That's third spell. Got three. Three. Can I put sadness on the stack? Your sadness resolves. Can I put more sadness on the stack? It resolves. No, you can only activate it. sadness once per turn. The fact that the priority was passed um. over was over there, and they didn't let that. I'll pop the first. lotus petal for a black. Yep. I'll pump it through for a blue and draw a card. Then taste the binding top. Goes I mean, you're out of mana now, though. Gain four life. Don't need mana. No, I'm saying to activate Sensei's top. Yep. Correct. Oh god, no! You can just tap it and draw a card. Correct. Oh. Tap it and draw a card. Play it for free. Tap it and draw a card. 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 Stop me if you've heard this one before. Tap and draw a card. Tap it and draw a card. Tap it and draw a card. Tap it and draw a card. We'll just do this to like one card left in the deck and they just nuke you all. How does that sound? Okay. Well, do you want to play for second place? Sure. Go nuts? Sure. Alrighty. I have done what I needed to do. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that deck is gross. <laughs> so, you are correct, by the way. It's really unfortunate. I play Khan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, I have to go off now. Yeah. yeah. I ticked down Khan to get a artifact from Exile. Yep. It is a Proteus staff. You cannot cast it this turn. I cannot cast it this turn. Dragon X says, did you buy a Mythic Edition? No. That is a zero. Uh, because I did not feel like waking up at three o'clock in the morning to get turned down for a Mythic Edition. <laughs> to, to, to get, yeah. My internet so speed is I'm horrible going at home. I'm to tick down Jace, Ooh. so Jace will die. Okay. And I will draw the card. I tapped very poorly to play that Khan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say, like, because of the improvise yeah. on Whir, it just makes it so you can just, out of nowhere, like, at the end of your turn, I'll get it into play, yeah. I'll untap, I'll go and search for my pieces, and I'll just win on the spot. Thank you very much. Everyone's yeah. tapped out. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. I, I happen to know that Bolas' spell is 100% on the RC's watch list at the moment. Yep. Like Sheldon even said so in his, uh, his article when he was talking about this and Nasa. <laughs> they're both on the watch list because of the they can cause. But yep. hello, wizards, thanks for giving me an artifact where I can pay for Exian mana Did to you play even play Tezzer at that game? No. The deck doesn't require its commander. I, I, I need to cast new means. I want to run out of cards in hand. I've just been playing one card per turn. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, this isn't going to be nearly as good as it was a couple of turns ago because the guy that was threatening to play Windfall is out. Uh, one, two, and yes, yeah. I did have Windfall in the hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was sitting here going, I need to play I this. I knew it. But also, I didn't have enough um, I'm going to play down the Haunt of Hightower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a Flying Lifelink 3-3, three, three, boy. Uh, whenever he attacks, defending player discards a card. Um, and whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, put a counter on him. Cool. He'll collect his swing into Khan. Rest in peace, Khan boy. And I think this is where I just passed the turn. Yep. Uh, Khan went to the graveyard. One of Hightower gets two counters on him. Oh. There's eight. Oh, yeah. From anywhere. Doubling season. Doubling season. Mm. Yeah, this is going to get out of control quickly. <laughs> mm. Play a land for turn. So I need two things to happen in my next turn. Okay. The first one is to draw a land. 
<laughs> so, I need to do things this turn. Technically, I need three things to happen. And so, I'm going to... Oh, God. A seven. Ooh. Oh. I'm going to cast Brass's Bounty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For each land you control, create a colorless treasure token. Create nine treasures. Yeah. Thankfully, doubling season only affects my tokens. I don't understand. From here, it looks like this card is like foil or special on screen. No, it's but just it's the sleeves. It's, it's just, uh, sleeves. Yeah, but it just looks I, it. I'm not it's blinging out my Biomancer's Familiar. <laughs> this, this light up here is extremely bright. Yep. Uh, oh, Brass's Bounty went to your graveyard. Point of Hightower moves to four. Yep. Oh, that's terrifying. I need to do some quick ruin checks. Hang on. Link. Hang on. Hang on. I need to check the ruins on this. Because I might be really, really happy. Are we have to ask whether treasures go to the graveyard? Yes. They yes, do. they do. They do. Oh. They, they go to the graveyard and then they vanish. Yeah. So just like any other token, basically, that's removed from the board by way I have of the treasures remaining. I oh, that will cast was... everyone's favourite Yugen. Sacrifice. So how many treasures was that that went away just then? Four. So eight counters. So for anyone that's wondering, Ugin the Ineffable. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm about to stick him down and destroy target creature that's one or more colours. Right. <laughs> so colour spells you cast cost two Ooh. less, <laughs> um, which would probably be good in this deck, but I'm not running it. Uh, exile the top card of what your library face down, look at it, create a 2-2 two -two colour spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, put the card so back in So I need three end. things to and happen in my next turn. it down from minus three to the three target permanent. One is I need to draw target. a land. The second thing is that land cannot be Maze of Ith. <laughs> the third thing is I need to survive. Let's see if any of this happens right now. I, I am... I'm still going. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am the dumb. I mean, they've got five counters. Uh, five treasures. And a whole bunch of walkers. Oh god, that's a lot of walkers. Yep. I'm going to tick up Sarkin. All my walkers become dragons. Yes. Big surprise! <laughs> Ugin becomes a double dragon. Ugin has that some is a sickness. fun game. I've only played it a couple of times. I think the first time I played it was on the Commodore 64. Uh, I'm old. So... I'm going to swing at Crota for 16. <laughs> Down to 22. And then I have five treasure remaining. What's your biggest creature? Uh, my biggest creature right now is a 5-5 five, five Pelt Collector. Sure. I don't like how that was sure. <laughs> um... I will spend four treasures past Relentless Assault. Untap all <laughs> creatures that attack this turn, you get an additional combat phase. No, you get additional main phase. Oh, combat additional main. Yep. Alright, cool. We get Coda for 16. Because at one point, and a six? Magic didn't actually have two main Really? And a six. That's nasty. Um, I probably should have swung with Vinathony Dragon. That would have been lethal. Oh well. Um, Where's the fun in lethal, though? Yeah. I find I want to see how you manage to get out of this with Proteus Staff and Fibblethip and survive with six life. Short answer and, is I and, don't. And, and draw a land. Short answer is I don't. I don't have enough land. Oh, really? I don't have enough oh, land. Oh, because you need four to activate... Um, if I was to do the, the Proteus oh, Staff thing, the turn. if I was going to do the Proteus Staff thing... Uh, you could have hopped last turn. Could it? Oh, you can well. do it now. Do it now. No, that's no, alright. Okay. I, I stopped up, I will wear that stuff up. There's well, the land. There's your land. Now, that doesn't actually do anything. Because I can do the Proteus Staff thing, but I die. No, not necessarily. No, I know that's that, that that's that is that is necessary. That's, not necessarily. That's what happens. It is what happens. Not necessarily. Um, I might as well just show what the deck does. Why yep. not? 
All right. So I'm going to play a Proteus Staff. All righty. And then I'm going to put Target Creature, which is Fibblethit, on the bottom of its owner's library. I then reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal a creature card. So let's just go through what is quite literally my deck. Imp. Are there any creatures in your deck? There is not a single creature in this deck. Wow, I definitely did not see that coming. There is only one creature in this deck as of right now. Is, is it Fibblethip? It is Fibblethip at the bottom of my library. And because of the way that Proteus Staff is worded, does that mean that you then get to put all of these cards that you're revealing on the bottom of your library in uh, any order? Correct. So this is basically tutor up any two cards. This right. is tutor any number of cards. No, no, this is tutor two cards. Two cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you get to rearrange them in any order, but you only get two of them in your hand. That was yes. well nice. But you then you know, have you stats your deck for the rest no, of the game. No, I have no, no mana. <laughs> I'm showing what the deck does. Because I know exactly, or I have a feeling exactly of what your deck is built around, and it is a certain planeswalker from war, is it not? Correct. Oh. There's Teferi's puzzle box, sure wish I had that. I mean, I, I think so. Hey look, there's Fibblethip. So he comes in, but Proteus stuff is still d uh, doing its thing. So I'm going to rearrange the deck however I want. Alrighty, and while you're doing that, I might take my turn. You can take your turn. Just because I have a feeling you're going to be taking a bit of time. Uh, draw my card for the turn. Uh, it's going to be the Rakdos Gilgate. Um, and remember how I said that you weren't dead? I'm dead. One, two, three, four. I need five, ten mana. Six. And that ain't happening. And the bottom seven. card is Chemist Bell. Cyclonic Rift. Oh. Oh. Because, yeah, that was printed in Ravnica. Specifically returned to Ravnica. Oh, Fibble Thip. I should be drawing those two yeah. cards. Yes, I'm yes, done. you draw those two cards. <laughs> I put them on top of my deck because I'm done. I was like, what are you doing, what are you doing? exactly? <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that happened. Because I feel like this is my best chance to actually win the game. It is. The yeah. last chance. Yeah, because I can't defeat that board. <laughs> like, there is no way in hell I can defeat that board. That's However, why Cyclonic Riff is... Yeah. Um, oh, I know what that dice was for. Yeah, blast count. Blast zone. Um, I'm now going to move to combat. I'm still probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately, I'm yes. going to swing at you for seven, um, and I'm going to tap Cranko, attacking you for yep. three. And I get three goblins, which then gets doubled up to six. Uh, these are my lands. And I've still got two mana left over to do something. Fun fact, Tunnel Vision was also printed in Ravnica. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, original Ravnica. Uh, I'm going to drop down another Sigmund. Um, and I will say go. Alrighty. Now it's time to between Dragons and Dragon. Six. Name a card. Get the player reveals cards from the top. Name card is revealed. If it is, that player picks the rest of the revealed cards from the graveyard. Name card on top of the library, otherwise, player shuffles. Wow. I want to play that against a Cranko player. Oh, what did you put on the bottom? Oh. Nearly you? Nope. <laughs> no. You play you that Grenzo? in a Grenzo. Uh, yeah, Grenzo. Yeah, Grenzo. That's the one. Alrighty. Land for turn. I've got 16 power on board right now, which. Like, a lot of it's very, very small. Yep. So my best bet is... Play Sarkin. Yep. Right. I play... Oh, yeah. yeah. Five. And you still got one treasure left. I do. That is actually real. Where did that treasure come from? Uh, Brass is Bounty. That's gone. Yes, yes it is. It oh, got is bounced it? by Rift. Oh, it got bounced, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Them's all got Rift too. Okay, so I think I just play the...
play the Warmonger Hellkite. And tick down Sarkin. Creating a 4 4 dragon. Yep. I do not have a 4 4 dragon. <laughs> I have a 2 2 dragon, yeah. oh. a 3 3 fat dragon, and a 5 5 dragon. Are there any on the backs? No. No, I don't think it might have been the commander ones where they come uh, in the back. Um, so I'm just going to put down. Whichever one's got the nicer art. Do that dragon. Yeah. Which is the art from Dragon Egg, I believe? I think so, yeah, because it's M19. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's a 4 4 dragon. And I will pass the turn. Alrighty. All creatures must attack each combat if able. Ooh, okay. Let's draw my card. Hmm. Okay. Live text, what's up? Stream. So for anyone wondering at home, uh, the player's now playing off for second, third, and fourth. Yep. Well, um, we've got first, and second. first so second and third. Yeah. Second, 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 I, I, I'm, so. I'm the dead. Are you dead? I'm the deceased. Oh, you're actually deceased. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can tap this. Okay, there we go. That I, I may have been murdered by dragons and then, like, poked with a couple of sticks <laughs> from a couple of goblins. <laughs> um, let's drop down the deck's namesake, Niv Mizzet Reborn, because I really want to cast this. We'll reveal so ten I reveal cards. ten cards. Nothing, nothing. Prime Speaker Vanifar. That's the Simic. Oh, good. Four. Five. There's a lot of monocog decks in here. Six. Just in case you want to. Uh, oh god, there's another sim card. Deck tech on my deck. Eight. That won today. You can go over to youtube.com forward slash Chechi plays games. Subscribing is free, so definitely do that. And alrighty. So I get Bullbring most definitely. And then it's between Prime Speaker and Experiment Kraj. Ooh. I mean, you get the Kraj, don't you? Like, the Prime Speaker doesn't do anything for the stage, so. I don't know do deck, one, plus one, plus one. No, but she's a good semi card. <laughs> and she can fetch out stuff like Krenko. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's going to have to be Extreme Kraj. And then the rest of these go on the bottom of your line. Bottom in a random order. Yeah. Alrighty. Now I've got to try and make sure I sequence this properly. Because it is hard. sequencing. It's, it's more sequencing difficult than it... No. It's more difficult to sequence this than I originally thought. Uh, one, two, three... Yep, so... One, two, adding black, adding red, so four. Oh, these should be untapped. I believe. Yeah, you haven't attacked yet. Haven't attacked yet. Uh, for Exava, Rakdos Blood Witch, entering with two plus one plus one counters. And what a prey tell does Exava do? Uh, each other creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has haste. It also has first strike, haste, and unleash. Yeah. So a lot of really nice stuff there. I still have. Yeah, I sequenced that really badly because now I've got two signals that do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, no, no. Hang on. That from in response to extended a block? No, I can still do something. Land for turn? Nope. I'm going to tap Melt Collector to add mana. Yep. So I've got three mana up now. Um, and I'll cast Grateful Apparition whenever it deals combat damage to a player or a planeswalker, proliferate. Ooh. And Birds of Paradise. <laughs> nice. Cute. Yeah. Uh, this is the conspiracy version, but it's got the Ravnica art on it, so... That's a bit of both. Conspiracy. Um, and now... I had the guild kit one. Yeah, but I already had this one. And the guild kit one isn't from Ravnica anyway, it's just it Ravnica themed. It is the Ravnica, th um, Ravnica art. Yeah, that's true. Removing the last counter from Jiang Yangu. Putting a plus one, plus one counter on Niv Mizzet that gets doubled up to two. <laughs> oh, and it has haste. It, it has, has haste. haste. <laughs> okay. Oh, Move yeah. to combat. Yep. Attack in, 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 
think that's enough. <laughs> I make a bunch of goblins. I make a bunch of goblins. Um, did you give this the two plus one plus one cannons when this came in, by the way? Which I don't believe. No, you I did not. No. Did you? Okay. There's a seven so, seven. Sarkin triggers. Okay. Both my dragons will deal a damage each to every attacking creature. All yep. your goblins die. All the goblins die. <laughs> Yep, oh, I, I expected that coming guys. in. Like, everything has to attack. So, oh, that's brutal. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I get 10 Wait. goblins, by the way. Yep. That's also dead. Yep. Unfortunately. And so I am taking 7 plus 8 plus 5. five. So, 20. Yes. Down to 16. Oh, it's only 18, isn't it? 7 plus 8. Where's the 7? Uh, no, that's, no, not no that's not attacking. That's no. not attacking. Oh, it's not attacking? Oh. So, that's 5. Yep. Oh, no, you're right, yep. I it's only 18, it. yeah. Yep. All good. I play fair. I'm a little bit scared of this swing back, though. <laughs> yeah, 18. Yeah. Um, I think I can survive on 30. My turn? That's... Yep, go for it. Because I do have two flying blockers. Uh, they were summoning six, so they could not attack. Okay, so obviously we start by playing a land for turn. Yeah, I sequence that very nicely. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm just thinking standard jack. <laughs> I thought you were looking at my board and you were thinking happy with it, not just thinking standard jank. Give it first strike. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I'm totally on board with that. Uh, I'll move these over just so it's more in frame. Sorry, it's t talking standard jank in a commander game. I'm a bad person. <laughs> I don't know, have you seen my YouTube? 80% of my YouTube is standard. <laughs> hashtag sponsored, hashtag wizard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Five. Play Jaya. Gain a life. What does Jaya's ability do again? It deals two damage to any target. And whenever I, a red source would deal damage, it deals double that damage. Double that damage? Yes. Oh, actually, oh, no. that damage, 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 damage is plus one. one. Yeah, I was thinking, okay. like, geez, that's absurd. That's not it. Okay. So now I just want to play as many dragons as possible with six mana. I have to get me one of them. Yes. So good. Oh. I do believe we just run out the Nelethni dragon again <laughs> and the dragon hatchling again. Alrighty. For being in the commander game, we're playing a lot of the same cards <laughs> over and over and over <laughs> again. That's because somebody may or may not have played Cyclonic Rift. That's true, and someone may or may not and have evacuated the board. Somebody may or may not have played Evacuate so in a I fit of rage. Up um, Sarkin and Jaya become dragons until end of turn. Yep. I, I will keep knocking the mic with yes, you Sarkin. Yep. Um, and all of your creatures that must attack. Ah. Yes, they must. Okay, so attacking with Sarkin, 4-4 four, four dragon, and five, one five dragon. And those three remain as blockers. So how much am I taking? So this is 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1. Only 16? Only 16. I feel like I can just survive that, but at the same time, I also kind of want to block. Just in case you've got some spice in your hand. Like, I'm just fully expecting, like, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, Hitosuke's second right to come down. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing around too much jank recently. Um, you know, I'll let the 16 come through. 
Um, I'll go to 14. And they'll pass for turn. Alrighty. All creatures must attack. Draw. Who are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Well, look, at least it wasn't a um, uh, Narset's reversal Cyclonic Rift combo player. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to play Gleam of Battle. Whenever a creature I control attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh. Ooh. I'm just waiting for this to kick in, because oh. Darren's got his mouth open right now. And there's a smile. <laughs> now like you it. see why that's in the deck. Moving to combat. What, what, what do you mean, why do I see what's in the deck? Moving to combat, it's swinging in with everything. Yep. The mini army just became maxi army. The so mini army just became a maxi army. Trigger's on stack. Yes. Your thing happens, and then mine happens on top of it. Yes. So I deal eight damage to each attacking creature. Why is it to each attacking creature? Four dragons, additional dire. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't think about that. So, what survives to get a, a plus two plus two? There's a reason I said last turn I'm going to just play for optimal number of dragons. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> I had Vorbrick, oh, I had then hand. I had Necropolis Regent as well. Uh, and Sorry. Mou. I had Chandra, Port Smelter, Ugin, Tybalt, Flame Shadow, <laughs> Outpost Siege, Magna Quake, and Ch Chandra. <laughs> Two Chandras. <laughs> yes, but one Chandra is a lot better than the other. Yeah. By a lot. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, we do have a couple more Japanese packs to open as well. We do, actually. Um, so, how do we want to do this? One on each side? Yeah, yeah, we'll give it to the winner and second place. Sure. There we go. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. It was good. I enjoyed going off and killing everyone with a disgusting, disgusting infinite combo. Yeah. I, just I don't, don't usually play at all. It, Alrighty. I'm just, I just realised this deck is literally Millhouse Mana Storm from Hearthstone. Just you wait until I get ten mana. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a foil? No foil Common. in there. That's your uncommons. Oh, hey! Tibble. Oh, that's regular art. Reg regular art, Tibble. Oh, false to Citadel. False to Citadel. False to Citadel. False to Citadel. And normal Nihiri. Oh. Lots yeah. of normals. Lots of normals, that's alright. Lots of normals except for the... Japanese uh, Zhang Yang Yu. I'll bring that back onto the stream. Yeah, we'll, we'll, bring, we'll, we'll bring that out. I'll bring the Liliana back out as I, well. I sleeve that up. Yeah. I sleeve so that up pretty. straight away. Yeah, I mean, you opened a foil one as well. It was just regular art. There's oh, the and the Kiora. Yeah, so we actually did pretty well. Like, so we got three. Out of six packs, we got three. So that's yeah. the 50 50. That's the 50 50. That's 50 50. Um, but I mean, you got pretty good score. The, we got Money. the Liliana, which <laughs> yeah. I kind of already needed for the Planeswalker collection, so that makes me very happy. In, unfortunately, it wasn't in foil, but still, they're like yeah. 50 or 60 I mean, I feel like that's almost better this than getting it in foil, because then you actually can keep it rather than just being told, sell, sell, sell. Yeah. Oh, but then you sell it in like, foil. I, I, I ended up having to Japanese sell my... Um, to come back in. And uh, oh, yeah, let's, let's bring the, the <laughs> Master of Destroyed into the game as well. <sighs> we had um, a lot of fun. Can, can, we, can we talk about this just <laughs> yeah. before um, everything? No. No. We this found a Mato Sands outside the game store that it looks like it's been run over by a truck and then eaten by a dog. <laughs> also thrown through a washing machine. Also, yeah, we put it what, in a sleeve. <laughs> this is one of the most beat up cards I think I've ever seen in my life. Like That show? Wow, well, it, 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 it sort there. of does. Now, good luck getting that back in the sleeve without destroying it further. Yeah. I mean, um, you say destroy. I'm pretty sure it's already past the point where destroying actually matters. See, I actually want to run that in the deck now. You can't. It's not sleep playable. <laughs> <laughs> so we should, oh, if, we if you roll out with a rolling pin, then maybe? We should do our sign-off. We should. So what are you doing besides not having your deck take up yet? Yeah, well, about that.
Uh, actually, I don't have an excuse. Actually, that no, one, that, that one, that one, that one's for Shirei. That's that's not me. Uh, that, that's uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I have no excuse for this yet. So where but, where can people find you? What are you doing? Okay, so you can now find me at the Magic Corner, um, or co co uh, at Coda Magic Corner on Twitter. Uh, eventually, you will find a YouTube. I say eventually. It was going to happen last month, but it didn't happen because I'm an idiot. Should have happened the month before, but it didn't because I'm an idiot. Watch, rinse, repeat, really. Light Rod? Liliana! Uh, you, I, you don't exist on the internet. I don't really anymore. exist on the internet anymore. Um, you're, you're a background person. Pretty much. You're like, I've got a Twitter, which is at LightRodAU, but like, I think I've tweeted maybe once in the past two years. Twice. Tw but only because I tagged you in a post. <laughs> this queue. Thanks, Deathmints. About right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But thanks for coming from Sydney, by the way. No worries. So it's uh, nice to have an Did you come down here yet. anyway, so I figured why not just time it up. Exactly. Caitlin? Uh, you know who I am. Um, Slazary on Twitter, Slazary on everywhere else. Um, yeah. I keep knocking the mic. Yes, you do. <laughs> and of course, I'm Chesh from Chesh Who Plays Games. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash Chesh Who Plays Games. Thanks to General Games for having us here because it's been great and their new story is absolutely wonderful. It, it, it really it, It's actually it really a, nice. We can't do a, a wide shot. So it is a vast upgrade to the other store, if I may say so myself. I can't I, say that because this is the first time I've been here. I really, really like it. In a 